we came, we saw a tiger in the wild. In this video, we tell you the pros and the cons of doing a tiger safari at Rantembor National Park. We also tell you how many safaris you should go on. joining us on another journey. Today, we're in India at Rothenbore National Park doing a tiger safari. If you're new to the channel, this is April and I'm Wayne. We do a video every Thursday, so hit that subscribe button and smash that bell. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the journey. We're on our way to safari. Not diet, <laughs> it is definitely much warmer in the yeah. afternoon. The nice thing is that the safari trucks come and pick you up at your hotel. We're on a, uh, a six pack this time. This six person Jeep is also called a gypsy. And we got this hat. Wait, yeah, April got a hat. This tiger safari is in Rajasthan, India. Yeah, Rantambora National Park area is only 1,700 square kilometers. By some of the national park standards, it's, it's a relatively small park. There are 10 different safari zones at Rantambora. Two baby cubs. Those are cubs. Would be he he's gonna do it. Wow, that's so awesome. Yeah. Well, did you hear him snort? The sloth bear, which is actually one of India's most dangerous animals. And is responsible for more human fatalities per capita than any of the other seven bear species globally. Whoa. Last time we got to see a bear like that was when we were at uh, Lassen Volcanic National Park, Karnabhav, for a big old giant grizzly bear playing in the Karnabhav. Big old, <laughs> big old, big old grizzly out playing in the meadow. Coming up on some antelope now. See the difference. These are the antelope. They call them the blue antelope. As you can see, the park is still flooded from all the rains. I imagine this territory is pretty dry on a normal basis. Look at the colors on the kingfisher. That blue is so amazing. Now that's a big deer. That's the first big deer we've seen. He's giving us he's giving us a nice pose there. Yeah, there he goes. 
we were watching a Netflix show that was talking about the Bengal tiger. His orange, white, and black stripes, the deer can't see the color of the of the Bengal tiger, so he becomes camouflage, even though he's bright orange, white, and black. We're sitting here waiting for the peacocks to make the warning call that there's a tiger by. We haven't heard it yet. Lots of deer in this national park. Oh, she's drinking now. She's drinking, hang on. She's feeding. Now that's cool when you get to see the mama feeding the baby deer. Bird is on top of the deer. What are they? They do kind of look like a quail. They also look like kind of like a morning dove. And there they go. So a partridge in a pear tree. Yeah, I saw one. Something's got something's going on. They're talking about something. The bear. Oh, it's the bear. Here they go, they're running. Yeah. village just outside of Ranthambore National Park in between our quarries today Lauren and uh, trying to get some souvenirs and stuff and we came across this art gallery with a artist in there that is just so talented I mean these paintings look like they are pictures he pulled out every he... single piece of artwork <laughs> for us I know the problem is is we live in an RV so it's so hard to say oh I need a piece of artwork for my little tiny RV uh... Oh my it's God, they're so amazing. It's for me when it's a tiger. I have always loved tigers for as long as I can remember. Growing up, I even had a tiger poster over my bed. Here's our room for the next two nights. We are here at Tiger Favela. What do we pay for it, April, on booking.com? Like a total of 45 bucks. For two nights, $45. That's a pretty good deal. It's got air yeah. conditioned. <laughs> Check out this crazy artwork I've been on the ceiling. It's a traditional Rajasthani art. You see what the bathroom looks like real quick. Nothing too, too fancy, but works good enough for us. Got a bathtub and a shower. It is an Asian wet bathroom. We're here in Rajasthan, India. And we're about to go on our second tiger safari today. Hopefully, the next one, we'll see a tiger. We saw a bunch of animals on the first one, but didn't see the Bengal tiger. Granted, there's only 86 of them in the park. Hopefully, we'll see one this time. We just got picked up by our safari guide. He's even got a cool hat. Can't be a safari guide without a cool hat. On this safari, we're saving money by taking Canter. What's a canter, Wayne? A canter is a 20-person open-air bus. However, it is bumpier and noisier. They've had unseasonably vast amounts of rain, and so everything's kind of flooded. We actually had to change our zones that we were going to go to today in the National Park. Our first animal sighting, little deer. Okay, the good picture is potted deer. Good lighting. Oh, I see it. It's right there. The oh, no, it's just a peacock. A peahen. What, oh, a peahen? What's a peahen? A female? A uh, 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 female peacock. Our national bus. Don't see what they see. Good size male antelopes with the peacock, male peacock. Male peacock. Thing that's 
running through the woods, the little grass has caught him a mongoose. Where'd he go? Oh, I see him. If you like safaris, you should check out our Nepal one horn rhino safari card above. Not sure what kind of bird this is. If you know, comment below. Came out of the bathroom and the monkey pack just came running across. Just trying to get all over the our little safari truck and the one of the guides started throwing rocks at them. Maybe they know there's snacks on it or something. Yeah. I guess they're pretty vicious little creatures. One that wants to keep trying to attack me, the little one. That's because he doesn't like my camera equipment. Monkeys in the wild, wild monkeys. <laughs> He's scary. <laughs> Crazy mean monkeys. I like the colors though. Greylander monkeys are also called old world monkeys and they are native to Asia. To watch more of our Go Travel on the Cheap videos, scan the QR code. I just opened this. Look at the color of the whiskey. This is whiskey. That is so cool. I, I have you it has rose petals I in it. I have never seen a whiskey with rose petals in it. And I've definitely never seen pink whiskey. We are going to cheers this. Is that good? It's mine. Stop. 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 Okay. <laughs> I don't like whiskey. <laughs> I tell, I say it feels like kerosene going down right? my throat. And so we've, we've got our friend from Holland. What's, yeah. what's your name, man? Joy. We're going to cheers, cheers with some... Yeah. Some Indian Cheers. whiskey. Oh, so different. Ooh. It's actually sweet. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. You can smell the aroma of the roses. If you blindfold me, I wouldn't say it was whiskey. No, more like a brandy? <laughs> yeah, probably more like a brandy. If you come to Rajasthan, you've got to try the whiskey. Yeah. What, what's really the name of it again? Maharani. Mahasagar. Mahasagar. <laughs> Mahasagar. Mahasagar means that it's so bad. <laughs> well, it's tasty. That's all I yes. know. Yes. Yeah. Definitely a different type of whiskey. So if you, if you guys are like whiskey connoisseurs, try to order some and see if you can get it in the U.S. I bet you Total Wine can get it. This is our third and final shot at seeing the tiger. If we don't see the tiger today, it's just been a deer safari. Today's safari, we're out in zone three of Ranthambore oh. National Park, in Rajasthan, India. Drone's totally different over here. A lot, lot different than the zone six. Nothing is there. Yeah. Nothing is there. But it's one of the best zones. This is? Yes. The two tigers generally lives in this area, you know. Oh, yeah. Arrowhead and 120 big male tiger, you know. Oh, oh. oh. it's the crocodile. Have a look at that beautiful bird in the middle of the air. Uh, from the tree. Open this stalk. Yeah, it's here. Open this stalk. And I'm locking it down here. Yeah, this little baby crocodile. <laughs> The deer and the monkeys let out the warning call for the tiger. So hopefully we're going to see one here in just a couple minutes. Yeah. The deer giving the warning call. Listen. Sure, Hardcore. We just 
just heard the deer warning go. Did you hear that? Tiger is hundred percent. Tiger is there. The deer watching to the tiger. If will come to us, definitely we will see. Yeah. Very sound call, very nice call. Somebody here watching to the tiger. Tiger is in the moment now. Yeah. yeah. Tiger roaring. Tiger roaring. I heard the tiger. Shh, shh, shh. There he is! I see him! He's right there! He's right there! Hang on, just hang on. He's in. Just look, look. Follow my hand. Follow my hand. Slow down. Slow down and just follow my hand. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I lost him. Hang on. Slow down. Just quick. He was walking this way. Hold on, Bill, I don't trust that. There he is. See him right there. Right there. Look at him. Watch him. Slow down. See him moving? See him moving. Look right around. Oh my god. Holy shit. That is amazing. Oh my god. Look at that. We saw a tiger in the wild. Oh my god, that is so amazing. He's such a badass. <laughs> Wow. He's so huge. He's fucking gorgeous. Look how close he is. That is so amazing. Look at him. He is so cool. That is amazing. Oh my god. Oh my Oh yeah, we came, we saw a tiger in the wild. I thought about that as soon as I saw it. When I sent your first thought, you were like, oh shit, we gotta buy it? What April's talking about is yesterday we went to an art school and watched this uh, gentleman paint and we were on the fence about buying the painting or not. And we're like, well, if we see a tiger, we'll buy the painting. Okay. <laughs> see a tiger, it's a sign. Well, we're, we're just minimalists. We don't buy a lot of souvenirs. We don't have a lot of stuff. We live simply, put our money towards travel. <laughs> the tiger that we saw was actually a female. I thought by the size for sure it was a male, but nope, female.
Tell us about the tiger excitement. I mean, was my sobbing not enough for you? <laughs> Can you blame me? No. I mean, that's like a dream come true. Like, it gets me. That was way cool. I, I was overcome. The Andra one. It was absolutely surreal. I felt like I got my money's worth because I saw the tiger. I don't know if I would have felt the same way if I didn't see the tiger. Because this is not a real safari like you would get in Africa. So not paying thousands of dollars to do the safari as you would in Africa as well. Right. For us, I thought it was a great opportunity. Yeah, it was enjoyable. Our uh, guide was telling us that uh, zone three is one of the best zones to actually see the tiger. The best section where is the 99% chance to find the tiger. The six. Because of this, the very wide section. Oh, uh, because of the terrain. So different. And very easy to get the warning call because so many animals around it. We can put the jeep at the right place at the right time because of the wide section. So we, we could tell you knew what you were doing because everybody else was driving all over the place. You're like, we're going to sit here and wait. Tiger is a territorial animal. I could just take the round of that. Uh, Oh, so you know where you live, yes. it's, so it's easy to kind of I've worked in the past 35 years as a guy here, you know. Oh, wow. It's a great experience. So I put my Jeep at the right place where I, I said Tiger will come by this way. You got to come to India and do a Tiger Safari. A couple of the things that you're going to want to do when you come to Rothenburg National Park is give yourself a couple different safaris. Get a couple different zones and that way you have more of a shot of seeing the tiger. You get different environments. All the ladies that are walking up the street in their traditional garments are actually heading to the temple. It's a special religious holiday for them. They're from all over the country. It's like parades of just color. It's yeah. so beautiful. <laughs> Chalk is a one-day festival celebrated annually by married Hindu women. Where they observe a fast from sunrise to moonrise and they're praying for the well-being and longevity of their husband's lives. The festival is also observed by unmarried women looking to secure a life partner. Go check out our India series. We want to thank you guys for watching our video all the way to the end. If you would, hit that subscribe button, share it with a friend, and like always, thank you for living life.